Guys, do you want to know how to install MySQL server and how to use it for writing your SQL queries? So this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this video, I will be showing you installation of MySQL server. Also, I will be showing you how to write SQL queries using command line tool. So let's start the video. So guys, you can open any of your favorite browser and just search for MySQL download. And guys, here you can see the official website. Just click on this link. So guys, it will redirect you to this download page. You need to just scroll down and here we have option of MySQL community download. So just click on this link. It will redirect you to this page, MySQL community download, where we are having various community downloads available we will be clicking on mysql installer for windows so guys it will redirect you to again this page and here it's showing mysql installer version and guys here it's showing operating system also i'm installing for windows operating system so it's showing me windows and here guys uh, at the bottom we have two option we will be selecting second one so just click on this download button so it will take you to this page login and sign up you don't have to do just click on no thanks just start my download and guys you can see at the top the download has been started it will take a while so we will wait for it so guys you can see my download is done and here it's showing me my msi file so i need to click on this msi file so let me do that and let me close my browser guys and here my installer is getting started you can see it's showing me mysql installer 1.6 guys here it has taken me to this screen and it's showing mysql installer documentation which is already available and you can see the architecture so this uh, installation will work for both 32 as well as 64 bit machine and we have option for add modify upgrade so i'm going to select add because i'm installing first time and now here guys you can see it's showing various products available so we have mysql server we have application and documentation so i'm going to expand mysql server just go on expanding guys and at the end select mysql server and just click on this arrow so it will be added to product to be installed list similarly in application just expand it and select mysql workbench go on expanding and select this application application mysql workbench and click on arrow same you have to do for mysql shell expand it and add mysql shell so this three product will be installed on my system and it's showing me product to be installed list so i need to click on this next button guys so guys here it's showing me ready to install so i need to click on execute button to complete this installation okay guys you can see here it's showing me complete for all the three products so product installation is done we will be clicking on next button and here guys it's showing some configuration so product configuration we have to do for that click on next button and now here guys it's showing me the port number this is the default port number 3306 if you want to change you can change i'm keeping the default one and i'm clicking on next button guys here it's asking me authentication method so two option it has shown strong password and legacy method so we will be selecting first option that is use strong password so it will ask me password so now let me click on this next button and now guys here we have a default user as a root user so we have to provide password to the root user so you can give any password here i'm giving password so i'm giving weak password that's okay you can give uh, password as per your choice and i'm not adding any user i'm just clicking on next button in this screen guys it is showing me that mysql server will be run in windows services with this name mysql 8.0 so that's okay and another checkbox that whenever you start your system mysql server will be started so everything is fine guys just click on next button now here server file permission you have to grant the permission to this folder this is the data folder where your databases will be saved so just select the first option yes grant full access and click on this next button now guys here apply configuration page we have to click on execute button for applying the configuration which we have selected so let me just click on this execute button 
okay so guys you can see apply configuration is done successfully it's showing with this message and here we have finish button so let me just click on that and now here it's showing me configuration complete okay so mysql server configuration done i will be clicking on next button here it's showing me installation complete and it's showing me two checkbox one is for start mysql workbench and another is start mysql shell so i don't want to start mysql shell so I am just unchecking this. I would like to show you MySQL Workbench. MySQL Workbench is a graphical tool where you can write your SQL queries. So we have uh, two tools for writing queries. One is MySQL Command Line. Another is MySQL Workbench. In this video, I will not be showing you more detail about MySQL Workbench. I will just show you that this is the tool which you can use. I will be using MySQL Command Line Client. So guys, let me just click on this finish button and here guys you can see mysql workbench has been started so let me just click on this local host and double click here and then it's asking me password so i will enter password so guys it has taken password and you can see it has connected to mysql workbench okay so i'm just closing this mysql workbench now i'm starting mysql command line client so in search just type command line or mysql command line so guys here you can see it's showing me mysql command line so guys here this is asking me my password so i'm going to just enter my password so after entering password now i have entered correct password so the connection is successful now it has taken me to mysql now here i can type whatever query i want and i can execute it so guys i will be showing you a few simple thing like creation of databases creation of table so so that you get familiar with this uh, command line tool how to use it so uh, first of all i am going to create a database so create database sunita semicolon and hit enter guys so now you will get the message so now here uh, my database is created but i need to write one command use sunita so my default database is changed now to sunita okay now in this uh, i am going to create what my table so you can uh, show the databases also by using show databases command so so for creating table i am going to uh, write a command uh, create table and then i am creating my favorite table students and in that i am creating a column roll number i am giving data type as integer and the second column i am giving as name and var care so you can provide the var care 20 30 uh, so i am providing it uh, maximum for name so after that close the parenthesis and put semicolon guys so now your table is also created now let's describe the table so to describe table we are typing desk students and semicolon so you can see it's showing you your column name and data type now guys we will insert one simple row to it or record to it so for that i'm going to write insert into students values i'm giving roll number as one and name as cs corner in single quote close the parenthesis put semicolon and done guys your record is inserted now what we will do we will display the record so for that just write a command select star from students and boom guys you can see your record has been added so guys now i will be showing you where the database has been stored so for that you need to just go to your c directory and there you have to go to this program data folder if it is not visible just go to view menu and check mark hidden and then here guys you can go to this uh, mysql and inside mysql you can see mysql server go to that folder and here you can see data folder click on it it will show you this message click on continue button and guys you can see the database which i created over here that is sunita database so uh, in data folder your all databases are stored okay guys so guys this way you can uh, download and install your mysql server and you can use it through command line client 
आई होप गाइज बाई फॉलोइंग माई वीडियो यू आर एबल टू सक्सेसफुली इंस्टॉल माई एस क्यू एल सर्वर ऑन योर सिस्टम सो दैट्स ऑल गाइज आई कंक्लूड माई वीडियो आई होप यू एंजॉयड वॉचिंग माई वीडियो इफ येस गाइज देन डोंट फर्गेट टू हिट ऑन लाइक बटन इफ यू हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ क्वेरी यू कैन पुट इन कॉमेंट बॉक्स आई विल श्योरली रिप्लाई टू योर क्वेरीज एंड गाइज इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ रियली माई वीडियो हैज हेल्प यू एंड गाइज हिट द बेल आइकन टू रिसीव नोटिफिकेशन from my channel one more thing guys i have given my different social media handler in description box you can follow me there you can join my telegram channel uh, if you want to get free pdf and notes of computer science and it you can join my telegram channel thank you guys for watching my video till end i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care